right, this is Tara Shalagbade and um, I have on my screen here a copy of the PDF uh, version of the INEC, that's the Nigeria's Independent National Electoral Commission's summary of uh, results for the 2015 presidential elections. I have, uh, I have an interest in data and especially when it comes to th data like this that have been used in some very serious decision making. So I wanted to put them in a spreadsheet and see how uh, the data will turn out, what it will look like if I trained them in charts, bar graphs, or pie charts and things like that. So I love to play around with data. So I had a few, uh, some hours f that I felt I could just spend uh, working on that. And in the process of doing that, it occurred to me when I looked at the PDF that it seemed to have been like it was scanned onto the page and then printed. I'm not sure, but so I felt let me just put in the data myself and uh, see what it looks like. So in the process, what I've ended up with, uh, I just kept going and going. And now I've decided I'm going to actually build for myself a little application that will help me play around, I mean, generate all the summaries I want whenever I want kind of historical data to review these elections in into the future and to discuss with other people. And so when I when I finish, it's going to be a complete application that you'll just be able to use drop menus and a floating form to view all the different scenarios, states, you know, uh, party-wise and all of that in terms of voting um, trends. Okay, so um, I have this screen here. I have a table where I put in all, this all the states and the zones. I intend to analyze by zone as well, you know, south, south, and all of that. We don't really have that. And I'm going to be plotting charts and comparing them in bar graphs. So I'm going to have, um, in this application is going to have buttons you will click that would quickly generate all of that for you. So I've been working with the INEC table, but I also have access to data about local government. So I will be looking at local governments if I can get those the data for those. But for now, what INEC has on this PDF is what I've used. Now, the thing is, uh, as I just went along, I just kept going and going, and I felt, okay. Why not just make it a full-fledged thing? So what you see here is um, data that I've been posting into the application uh, from the PDF so I can generate uh, a parallel table and then train the data and analyze them. So right now, the way it works, if I go to, I think, let me see, where am I now? I'm at play two states. So if I go to, I can actually just type it, play two. And what happens if you notice the cursors move to play two? I don't have to interact with the spreadsheet. I want to post entry for number of registered voters. And then what I do is I come here. I actually um, only have to minimize the screen to one to the left. And then this one goes to the right. If you watch what I'm doing. And then I come to play two states. That's the figure there. First figure there, one nine seven seven two one 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 nine seven seven two one one. Okay, you can see I've already set up the table. The totals are happening, so I'm comparing with the total we have for INEC here. I'm not trying to provide INEC knock. I'm just trying to say I want to be sure what I copy into my own table is consistent with what INEC has done, so I don't mess up whatever it is I want to generate in terms of reports. Now I've done that, so I go down to the next one. This is the way I create my application to make data entry easier. I don't have to run, go crazy trying to navigate through columns and rows. Okay, so if we go, the next one is Rivers. You see, it's already selected itself for Rivers State, and Rivers is two million two three two four three hundred two three two four three hundred. You know, I'm gonna keep going. Um, you know, anyway, so you you get the drift. This is how I work. Um, this is work in progress. So I just wanted to show what's possible, and uh, this button will allow you to click and generate. There will be a page, a screen where you'll be able to view the charts and say okay i want to see what this party will got uh, scored against this party i want to see what the trend for was the state i'm looking at zonal summaries as well so if you look uh if i maybe i just reload this form so you can see how it works again if i go back and expand this table and i choose maybe alhambra state watch you see it's selected alhambra state then i say i want to post an entry for let's say upp or udp what happens is this it's selected and then i post the entry so if you go here and I go up. Uh, if if I had the original data and I was the one doing it for like then it should be a different thing as you can imagine. So okay, let me just choose Abia the first line and then UPP, that's three hundred and thirty. Okay, so if I pick Abia oh. Okay, I told you it's work in progress, so I don't know what's happened there, so I'm gonna have to reload it and do it all over again. This is just this application in raw form, but I'm just trying to show you 
how much easier it can be to post data so this is upp for abia state if i go to upp that's it it selects that so then the figure there is what 330 330 okay so i've got to type it in 330 three, three, okay if i were to say okay i want to go to which other party maybe hope whatever that means i'll go backwards and then 125 is what hope is do you notice the validation that's done by the cell it goes red whenever there's wrong entry for instance if i post a d in there it it tells me straight away entry is not a number i remove the d and it, it, it retains the value if i want to erase the cell i click on that erase the cell if i wanted to move to the right to post it under core okay it will do that if i so you see the idea is it's supposed to make your life easy so it's a work in progress like i said but i just felt i should just show share this with you and let people begin to understand that excel is not limited to formal business it can be used to improve your everyday life and when it comes to elections think of the fact that people get fatigued posting to multiple large spreadsheets with multiple columns and thousands of rows the use of a form like this that makes it unnecessary to interact with the form with the spreadsheets when you just look at only the form can make your life so much easier okay i should be done in another by tomorrow evening and then you'll i'll be able to do a demo of the full fully functional app.